All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal with PhonerBooks.com, and this is the ATA drive failure flowchart for my book, Computer Repair with Diagnostic Flowcharts, and a draft version of this flowchart is also on the PhonerBooks.com website. Now, the reason it's ATA drive failure and not IDE drive failure or SATA drive failure is they're all referring to the same thing. The basic drive type is an ATA drive, AT attached. And this particular flowchart does, in fact, cover parallel IDE drives and serial ATA drives. Uh, there's actually very little di in the difference between troubleshooting the two. It's mainly a different type of cable with a few minor exceptions. Um, as you go through the flowchart, the most fundamental starting point is whether or not the BIOS registers the drive, whether or not the computer recognizes that there's a hard drive attached. If the computer doesn't recognize that there's a hard drive attached, you can immediately start troubleshooting whether or not the power to, to the drive is good, um, whether or not it's seeking and spinning up, whether or not there's a cable failure. Uh, th those are generally pretty straightforward problems because a, a complete failure, a total failure like that, is much easier to diagnose than an intermittent failure like the drive locks up or your computer locks up randomly or you're losing data that you're writing to the drive. Now, the idea with the flowchart is to cover enough data points, enough decision points on the flowchart to be of use in troubleshooting without sending you off to another flowchart every two minutes. In this case, we have two transfer points on the flowchart. One is if you get all the way down here and we haven't figured out the problem yet, we assume that it's a problem with drive performance or with booting. And we, we send you to a separate flowchart, which is for performance and boot issues. And well higher up here, um, if you have a DVD or a CD drive and the BIOS does register the drive, we immediately send you to a CD, CD or DVD flowchart. If the BIOS, if the computer isn't seeing that that CD or DVD is attached, then the troubleshooting is just the same as for a hard drive. It's the same problem. Now, if you're looking at these symbols and saying, well, I don't know what BIOS registered drive means. I don't, these are all very short. What does 300 megabyte per second SATA2 mean? Question mark. Well, what we do, which I think is unique in this book, is we repeat these symbols in the margins. So as you read forward in the chapter, you can look for the symbol from the flowchart that you're looking for more detail on, and you'll find in the text the description, like are all installed ATA drives properly identified by the BIOS and displayed on the startup screen, ETC. You might not have a startup screen like that, so it explains how to get into CMOS on different computers. Um, as you move down here, you might just see a link, here we go, which is a link to an illustrated page on my website, which might even be where you're viewing this flowchart right now. And the importance of illustrated pages is really just as sort of standard examples. You always want to use Google if you've decided you need to replace a specific part in a specific computer and you don't know how to do it. Use Google and find an illustrated procedure for your exact model. There's going to be one out there. I mean, you don't have to make do with sort of generic illustrations like we have here just for illustration. So I hope that these flowcharts help you become a better hobbyist or technician, whatever you are. The, the book is used in several technical colleges where they're teaching it, and I'm sure the kids are happy because at $14.95 without even the discount, that's probably the cheapest textbook they're going to get the whole time they're in college. So I'm Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and I hope you either check out the book or come by our website and check out the draft flowcharts at phonerbooks.com.